Okay, we're back from East Aurora. Waiting in line for my bees. Historic moment here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna pan over here. Looks like there's some smoking going on over there. Picking up one today, sir, yep. correct? Only one? $150. Yeah. Okay. Just head right over here in the load you Okay? Thank you. Okay. $60. Okay. Brian, right? No, Dave. Uh, Dave Newman. <clears throat> yeah. They should have the business name there. Numi's Bees. <laughs> here we go. Excellent. And you're getting three. Three, yeah. Done with this station. Okay. Oh, they're going to load me up over there. No, I got a SUV. Okay, so it's going inside, so yeah. they'll give you the ramp room so they don't. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, look at all these bees. So these are all nukes, eh? No, I don't need frames. Okay. Look at the bees! All right, look at the bees. They're guaranteed to have queens in here, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm joking, but there better be queens. At least three or four. Yeah. <laughs> Not swarming ones. <laughs> no, these these nukes were put together about five six weeks ago. Oh okay. So. Strong. They're nice and heavy. They're good. All good. Um, and uh, just, I just want to make sure when I when I take these home, I put them in the location where they're going to go, not on the porch. <laughs> yeah, you want to dance still talking in there if you want to go in there. Oh, okay. I'll go. I'll go do that. Okay, we're going to go in and excuse me. Pardon, pardon. I'm sorry. I drew in the party later. Oh, there's too many people here. Everybody for the bees. Suit up. <laughs> Suit up. There's no bees in there. No, not in here. Oh. Oh. Shucks, I missed it. I missed it. Oh, well, that's okay. Do you bring a truck or are you in a car? Okay. Yeah, we'll put them in there. I know there's certain animals that will try to raise your high box. Yeah. One of my friends who lives about a half mile away got a picture of a fisher cat on his trail cam. Is this what? I should be concerned about Looks like I missed that, so okay. My friend lives exactly a half mile. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, like, I, don't I, I don't know, know what you would do. With a stone man there, I yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know what you would do okay. to prevent it. I mean, short of putting an electric fence, the only thing you can really do to, pr to protect your. Hang on one second, I gotta say this. Hey guys, one thing I want to mention. Did I lose everybody already? I think I did. No, no, just go ahead. We can put. And we have bear we're ready to go. Put a, put a rock on top. Put a brick or a rock on top of your hut. I gotta start shouting that when people come back. But, uh, but yeah, aside from elevating it and putting a, putting a heavy rock on top. Oh my gosh, look at the nukes. There's some bees. Now those aren't Numi's bees, but. So you may eventually end up short if I'm going to get that call. But, um, but, yeah, short of putting a on it and elevating it, there's not a tremendous amount you can do. I mean, you can put an electric fence around it. They are in a pasture that used to be electrified, but we took the front of the pasture down because we got rid of the goats. Yeah. We don't need to keep the electric on anymore. Just keep, just keep an eye on it, you know. You'll see see signs, I mean, of, of things trying to mess with them. A lot of times it's scratch marks on the front. Because I know we have coons. My mom got a picture of those on our trail cam. They like to raise the bird feeder and they're very funky because of it. it. Um, but I'm mean, not really worried about those. For say, but the pressure cat kind of has the nourishment because I did some damage to yeah. the horse. Yeah, just, just like I said. And you live where? Marilla. Look for signs. Oh, I live in Wales, so I don't want... 
husband's horse was attacked by a fisher cat last year and she lives in Holland. Oh, okay. Just look for signs of disturbance, um, you know, the over on the river. Yeah. <laughs> one of, my friend who lives in Marilla, a half mile away from me, he had a picture of one on his trail cam. What do they look like? I mean, I know a cat's a cat, but... Um, it's not really a cat, it's kind of deceptive. It's kind of like a giant weasel, but not like you... Like, if you know what a weasel looks like, yeah. what a beast looks like... Or, or like a it's, possum? It's, it's not, nothing like a possum. It looks like a giant overgrown weasel or a ferret, almost, but kind of cat-like. I don't know, it's hard to explain. When you see it, you know like that's exactly like what it is if you know what the other animals look like. Oh, okay. Oh. They're so, kind of rare for this area. So wait, a so wait. I'm sorry, but where in Marilla you live? Because I live in I, Wales. I live close to Alden. Oh, okay. So your bee space is different. <laughs> okay. No robbing my honey. <laughs> or bees. <clears throat> Look at all these people in bees. Oh, my gosh. Look at the bees. Look at the bees. Look at the bees. Look at the bees. bees are in there. From Russia and China, the, I guess they used to call them Chinese goose carriers or something. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Look at that. How are you doing? Right. You don't need to smoke them. So these are the nukes. Each of these contain about 10,000 bees each. Well, we still want to create about five weeks ago. Week I said, no, no, it's way too early. We're, we're two weeks. Uh, I won't do it to Memorial weekend. It's the first year. Carniolans. And look at that guy right there. Woohoo! I, I okay. You end up running out there with, with I'm getting three of these suckers. All night long covering. Or three nukes. No, no, that's okay. She's on the way. No, it's not. So is this your first time doing bees too? My first time also. I have three hives. Yeah, four. Four. Yeah. four? Uh oh, I better get another one. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you like that one? That's right. He wants that system. one. Okay, well, you know, here, you're here. the boss. So, where's your bee space going to be? What town? Um, East Aurora. Oh, oh where in East Aurora? We're not right in the town, in the, in the village. <laughs> no, um, I live actually in a forest. Oh, okay, good, good, good. Now is that, okay, you got the village of East Aurora. Is that east of East Aurora or west of East Aurora? Um, so Jim and Patty hmm? came up yesterday for a tour. <laughs> I'm not trying, these aren't tricks. Just across the tour. Right next to the tour. Right next to you're welcome to come up any time. I've got to, they were amazed with my facility. I mean, that, 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 the apple pie facility. It's the state of the art. It's pretty amazing. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm not, it, it wasn't a trick question. I was, I'm just, because I don't want my bees mixing in with your bees. They never will. They never do that. Because I live in a town of Wales, so. We live in um, Central Street. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So north. It's actually north. I don't know where I am. I never knew where it's happening. North, south, east, or west. In 40 years, I have no idea where I am. Over here, behind. I know that you will be just that direction. And what language are you speaking? English, uh, Spanish, and French. Oh, oh, Spanish? And French. And French. Both? Yes. Wow. And then English. So that's three languages. I only know one. I'm in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Oh, he's out there. He's green. That is French. Check that out. What are you doing out here? I'm having fun. Spain. Okay, you keep going. Oh, Spain. <laughs> yep. All right. He's like got a new driveway and a turn. Ah. enough fruit. We're going to let you be the, we'll run the stand out here. You've already got the turn around. We'll, we'll put up the little stand here and you can do it. Okay. I'm so excited about that. That's great. Yeah. So, well, okay, looks like. So we, time for my bees, I guess. Go get your truck. It's right, oh, I just, I just whiz it on by here, huh? Oh, okay. Looks like I could get my truck. So or SUV. Do.
Okay. Gotta be careful. So we are, I'm just going to move up a little more. Is this good enough? Three. Okay. 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 Getting three nuclear hives. Or nucleus hives. Right in the back, I Oh yeah, just pile them in. Now there should be enough room. Did, you, um, did they give you a ticket? Oh yeah, I got a ticket. Okay. Let me go get my ticket. Up, oh, no bees, no ticket. There no ticket, no bees. There's my ticket. It's got paid three nukes. Look at that! Look at that! Now these are the best nukes, right? Actually, these are the three that we just was yours heavy too. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Excellent. We love heavy bees. No, thanks a lot. All right, have a good one. No, no. Oh, I missed the the, the stuff yesterday, or you know, I just got into the room. Just one, just one quick question. Sure. So, after I take this directly to where the highs are going to go, set them on top. Correct. Not on, not on my porch. <laughs> take the netting off. Yep. Rip the duct tape off. Okay. Leave them for a few days, then when it's above 50 degrees, you're going to take the frames out of these boxes, transfer them into your hive box in the same order they're coming out. But they sh it sh it you said it should be a few days. It shouldn't be like... A few days, yeah, if you move them too much all at once, they might up scone. Not not usually, but it's possible. So. But I, I could do it after 24 hours, right? Yeah, yeah, you could. Yeah. Okay, because I have a big welcoming party tomorrow coming. Yeah, sure. Sure, yeah, you, you could do them tomorrow, but, but open them up, let them get used to coming and going. Oh! Obviously, no, no, they, they need to... The top and the bottom, take all the tape off. Um, well, you can leave the top on for now. If you're going to take the tape off the top with a rock on it, I mean, you're going to want to do that with your hives anyway. Yeah, I just did. Yeah. But, uh, but no, just right here. Okay. Oh, and then when, when you take the top? Take when you go and transfer them. Okay, so leave just the bottom. Yep. Um, <laughs> yeah, call me if you have questions. Oh, no, I, I don't, I, I just don't, and, and then, um, yeah, you just transfer, and usually, it, from what I understand, you keep, uh, what, Three, three empty frames on a, on one side and two on the other end in the middle, right? You got it. Yep. Okay. And and then let them forage. Yeah, you got it. Now, now, and then uh, what I remember from the email was that um, uh, in a week you should inspect them, right? Right. Yeah. Give it a week. Yeah, because they need to get you know situated there. Um, you can but feed them the through the feeders. No, I don't, but okay. I can always come back and get some. <laughs> yeah, yeah, stop back tomorrow and, and bef before you go and install. Okay. Um, and okay. We got a, if you want to talk for a while, can you pull over because we got a backup here? No, that, that was it. Oh, you're good? All right. I'm good because I can always come back for more questions. Absolutely. All right. All right thanks. No, no. Thank you, Mr. Masterson okay. and Mr. Masterson. <laughs> M&M. M&M. Yeah, no. It's a business. You got you got to think. Uh, you know, you got to think advertisement. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yep. <coughs> okay. Now it's time. So actually, the bees are there. Can't even see them. 
Let me put this here. Okay. Here we go. From Masterson's, back home to Wales. Now these are Numi's bees finally. Eha! Okay, finally, Numi has his bees. This is the official date of Numi's bees. And Wales is only about, and about six minutes from here. Aurora driving, that's where you can go golf. my turn. I'm not going to go directly into East Aurora because I live in Wales. Okay. I'm going to make a right hand turn here. Now, notice I have no clothing on. No bee suit. And the bees are back there. Whoa, got some bumps. Oh, I want to make sure that my bees are taken care of. I want to, no, no bumps. Can't be bumping the bees. Well, the sun's out a little bit. 